fires at Dodger Stadium today. We've reported that health care workers got their shots there this afternoon. Yeah, but the rollout hasn't been without, <clears throat> excuse me, problems. And at the same time, cases, hospitalizations and deaths are still very high. Joining us now to help understand the situation is Dr. Mauricio Hyabron, a trauma surgeon and the vice chief of staff at St. Mary's Medical Center in Long Beach. Welcome. You know, we've heard that the number of hospitalizations has fallen slightly, but still near record numbers. Do you expect it to go higher yet again now that we're two weeks out from New Year's celebrations? Yep, I do. Um, it sort of follows a pattern. We saw something similar after Thanksgiving. And on top of that was Christmas, and on top of it is New Year. So our fingers are crossed. We've, we've never been this full. But to answer your question, hopefully this is a plateau. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like we're living in two different worlds, people who've been directly affected by this, and then those of us who are inconvenienced, uh, truly, and then, of course, the economic fallout, too. So we know that ambulance services, EMTs, paramedics, have been given some directives not to transport patients to the hospital if there is little to no chance they'll survive that. And I think people have had a reaction to that, an emotional response to that, and maybe ha that news has caused a little bit of fear. So can you really clarify for us what should people do if they are having an emergency? Uh, sure. I I'd love to clear that up because we need to get this straight. We're not turning away living people. We're not letting people die out there. There, there are pre-existing protocols and practices um, that existed before COVID, and that allows the paramedics and uh, the EMTs in association with their base stations uh, to pronounce people at the scene. I mean, sometimes they would bring bodies to us to pronounce at the hospital, but now we have to be better. We have to be more careful with our resources. So this isn't that big of a change. It's just sort of a re-education of our emergency um, <laughs> physicians, emergency staff, that sort of stuff. Well, doctor, the vaccine is really giving people a lot of hope, but some people are still skeptical about it. And it's still limited to just certain people here in L.A. County. So what's your message to people about getting a vaccine? And have you gotten yours? Oh, heck yeah. Are you, uh, yeah. Uh, um, I wish everybody could get them. Um, I understand we have to do it in a tiered way. Um, but emotionally, I wish everybody could get them. And the reason is we need to understand the vaccines don't stop the spread. They keep you from getting sick. They keep you from coming to the hospital. They keep you from dying. And that's really important right now. I need you guys to stay away from people like me. Because <laughs> we're just, we're so full. Yeah, just a, a really important message. We thank you for absolutely everything you are doing to fight this. We are in awe.